What is up guys, Sonjutsu here and today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about the expansions for Total War Warhammer and just kind of giving you guys some of the information, ironing out some things that have been stated and have been verified and some that have not been verified. Now, um, in my last video I've gotten, I had gone into a argument with um, a, uh, I guess uh, he wasn't a subscriber but he was a commenter I guess and he was upset that that I was saying that there was going to be that had mentioned a comment in my last video even though I was talking about things that I would like to see from the high elves um, he was upset that I was I had stated that there was going to be um, that I think there was going to be many expansions and just from the way I saw things and so I wanted to go ahead and make it clear that that's mainly a theory we 100% don't really know 100% yet what is in store for us when it comes to Total Warhammer but that's why I'm making this video because I wanted to go ahead and iron out and make it very very clear now when it comes to Total War Warhammer right before the game came out Creative Assembly said there was going to be three major expansions there was going to be Total War Warhammer the first one that we're playing right now then we're just going to be essentially Warhammer 2 and then Warhammer 3 they're all going to be parts uh, pieces of a map you can expand on and uh, you can play each one independently um, without having the other one. So I still believe that this is the case with a certain amount that they're going to do with Warhammer because this is what they stated. And uh, the only reason that I think that they're going to be um, having different types of mini expansions throughout uh, the course of this is from what we've seen so far. Now, even at the very beginning of... Um, when Total Warhammer came out, they had a list of different expansions and the different DLCs and stuff that were gonna that were gonna come out throughout the year, and it was kind of like a like a sneak peek type of thing. And for the most part, you know, a lot of them have come true, but for them, but also a lot of them have not come true. And so, right around August, when the Beastmen came out, there was an interview that they had with Creative Assembly, where uh, some of the producers said that they were surprised with how much money they had gotten from. Total War Warhammer and so they were able to push out um, different content a lot faster and work on it a lot faster because of the fact that they've gotten so much revenue from it so that's why we got the Beastmen so fast and the Wood Elves so fast with my understanding from the little sneak peek there was only really supposed to be one faction unlocked this year but there were two and so um, with that said we got the Forest of Ethelorn unlocked on the map and so my thing is that, and I said it in another video, that again, this is all theory. There's nothing 100% saying that there's going to be many expansions, but I'm thinking, it's just my thoughts, it's a discussion, that there is going to be some sort of mini expansion that's going to have Ultuan where the High Elves live. Then maybe Warhammer 2 will, ha will encompass a good portion of the new world, such as this, expan this main game, um, Warhammer the first one encompassed the old world but still have things missing like Bretonia really missing, Kislev missing, Tomb Kings missing, um, the Wood Elves missing, and Skaven are not there. So I feel like Warhammer 2 is going to have the new world but with certain aspects missing that are major, uh, you know, compared to, you know, similar to the old world. That's kind of what I think is going to happen. It's just a thought. It's a theory. It's a discussion. I think this is gonna happen, um, you know. And then when we get the rest of the map that's connected to the old world, like Araban, all those um, different countries that are uh, around the old world, then I feel like that's gonna be the expansion three. So, exactly why people think that the third expansion is gonna have the chaos gods? Well. It was a leak, a leak that I comment that I made a video on, and a couple other people have made a video on. And this leak is not verified by CA, but it was something that they had found in the data from CA, from from uh, Total Warhammer. That's from CA. Uh, I think they had they had found it in 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 some of the data that's in the game, saying that they had fillers of when each faction was going to come out. And I believe everything has been 100%. Even the Wood Elves fits into the slot. Of the of these leaks that are not substantiated, but then they have a whole bunch of them that's supposed to be before. Then game two is supposed to have uh, lizardmen, high elves, dark elves, 
and then game three is supposed to be focused on the chaos gods which i mean i don't know how they're going to do that but and then between in between they're going to have all these they have all these little factions that are not in the these these games and so even with this leak it kind of implements the fact that yes there's going to be little expansions this is going to be the second game then there's going to be the third you know game so there you go people are using this leak that isn't 100 percent verified saying that this is what they said it's going to be but you guys have to I have to make it very clear to you creative assembly has only really stated two things that are for that they've stated for certain the second thing they've been wavering on a little bit because again they said they got a lot of revenue they've they've gotten um they're pushing things out a little bit faster so they're working on things in a different order uh but for the most part it has lined up a little bit but again some things are off and then the first thing was that there's going to be three games and they're going to fit like a checker like a chess piece or like uh oh, not chess piece uh, like a jigsaw and so they've stated these things and even in the last uh they had an interview in, during the wood elves when the wood elves were coming out they had an interview saying that there's going to be uh expansions ex with, with plural which could mean two and he could be talking about the second and third game but the way uh the he stated it, it was expansions that fit like jigsaw puzzles to the map adding to the map it feels like many many little pieces and then so with all that being said that's why i think there's going to be little pieces then there's going to be a big thing and there's going to be little pieces again i think the next little piece or the next couple little pieces are going to be the skaven uh the tomb kings and uthuan the high elves then we're going to get the new world i think that's going to be the second game it's going to have a bunch of different factions on there some factions we probably have never heard of including the dark elves maybe they're going to flesh out the uh, high elves a little bit and then give us lizard men and then i think the third expansion they're going to uh, probably push and give more characteristics and maybe separate the chaos horde or the chaos warriors into four sects and then have the rest of the map the ogre kingdoms um everything else so with all that said, I also have the speculation that the reason they're going to have all these little expansions in the second and third game is because money. You're going to make a lot more money, um, you know, selling these little things off one by one than putting them in total in huge packages and games. And, uh, of course, I don't want the second game to come out and be $60 and I only get, like, Dark Elves and Lizard Men, even though I really want them, but it's, like, $60. No, if it's only, like, two factions, give me, like, you at least make it 30 bucks or something like that, cut it in half. I mean, the old world came with five factions, you know, and all, all these little tiny factions. So, you know, have it like that. But I'm just thinking of it a business perspective, and that's not the way I would want it. I'm just kind of theorizing that that's the way they're going to do it because of how business works. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong with all of this. They could have separate games. But let's just say all we don't know 100%. And when I make videos talking about the future factions or whatever the case might be or different games, uh, or their discussion videos or theories, and I'll make sure in the beginning of the video that I explain that um, to, to some of you that might not know and might take everything to heart uh, or take some of these things to heart. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and hearing my words. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what kind of what where do you fall on this? Do you think there's gonna be uh, these two other games and that's it? Do you think it's gonna be uh, just a bunch of expansions? Do you think it's gonna be a combination of both? And what faction are you looking forward to the most into seeing and playing? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Let me get over 50 likes for this video and for the expansions that are coming out. This year should be very very interesting. As always, guys. If you like what you see here, you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. This is going to be Sunjutsu signing off.